All right, guys, here we are, 319 Topaz Drive, Sterling Farms, right? Highly desired neighborhood. It's beautiful, it's just outside of city limits. All right, get you a little panoramic of the, of the street here, all right? This house is three bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms, 1,614 square feet, built in 2011 sitting on 0.29 acres okay now we've had rain for the last week straight so just letting you know that uh, it's not flooding or anything all right but uh, I'm gonna go in here and take a look somebody just pulled up out front all right so you walk into the uh, front door Got the wood floors, all right. Now it's like the laminate, so it's not the the expensive uh, LVP stuff like that. You do have some gaps in floors, some scratches over here, all right. But when you first walk in, you got a coat closet, and then you have a half bathroom, and then the steps to go upstairs, all right. Um, and then if you go left, you, this is the uh, living room. All right, gas log fireplace, dining area to the backyard, and this is your kitchen. All right, not granite countertops, but the granite countertops are in great shape. You do have a tile floor in here, which is nice. Okay, the home comes with all the appliances, but there's a big dent in that one. Um, stainless steel, stainless steel, and stainless steel dishwasher. All right. Cabinets. I like the window above the cabinets there. That's pretty cool. All right, we'll go outside here in a minute. Um, if you just wrap yourself around the uh, into the kitchen here, you got a pantry. Okay. So take a look back, look at the living room from inside the kitchen. All right, and then you got a garage. All right, two car garage. Pretty simple. Now this right here might be a worry for you, really. Uh, it looks like there is some work done here in the garage ceiling. I don't know if that was from roof damage or anything like that. Um, but we can always check that out and find out exactly what happened, okay? Um, they've got to be able to, they have to disclose that to us. All right. Let's go upstairs. We'll take a look at the uh, bedrooms. And then we'll go outside. Okay. So, carpet is a little worn. I mean, there's no big stains. It doesn't look horrible. Um, it probably looked better if it got um, freshly cleaned. It's just worn. Um, so, all right. So you get to the top of the steps. Left. You have um, spare bedroom, spare bedroom, and your guest bathroom. You have a closet here. As soon as you walk up to the left, you actually have another closet, or that's the laundry room over there, and another linen closet before you go into the master. Okay. You have this little uh, space up here, which is nice. They've got a little TV set up here, kind of like in the hallway. So you got your guest bathroom. Full bathroom. Hey guys. Guest bedroom number one. Typical bedroom. Uh, double door closets. Carpet looks good in here. No stains on the ceilings. No cracks in the walls. No uh, fogged up uh, windows. Um, everything looks actually really, really good in this house. I mean, you know, it was built in 2011, so there's not going to be a whole lot wrong with the house. Um, spare bedroom number two, the kids room, typical same thing, you're going to have the double door closets behind the door, window, and kids bed, okay, 
Um, we'll walk down here. So the first door after you come up the steps on the right is your laundry room. Okay. Have a shelf up here. Like I said everything looks good up here. You got some nice space in here. All right. And then you're going to have um, a linen closet. Okay. Before you go into the master. So if you go into the master, it's a nice size room. Do you have tray ceilings? Okay. Big window. All right. So, let me go over here in this corner. On the other side of this dresser here. Okay. So the first door on the right is the bathroom. Double sink vanity. Okay. Toilet. You got a big soaking tub if you like the tile work around the sides. That's nice. All right. It's painted gray in here, which I don't mind really to be honest with you. It looks pretty good. All right. Light fixtures. Then you got a full shower. Okay. Well, it's actually a walk-in shower, so you don't have to actually step over the big lid. It's got a chair in there, everything. All right. So, master bathroom. And then you're going to have your walk-in closet. Okay. That goes around the corner here. So, you do have some, a nice, some nice room in here. They got a lot, you know, a lot of stuff in here, storage-wise. Okay. Nice size walk-in closet. Room, room, room. Okay. All right. Let's go take a look at the backyard. Oh, let me turn these lights off. Check out the backyard. Okay. I really like this backyard. I like the way it's set up. Okay. So as soon as you walk out the backyard, you see the big part of the yard that stretches all the way back. Then you got the fence that comes in. So, this might be a little wet actually. Uh, so it's fully fenced in. The AC unit looks fairly new. All right. Then the fence goes back that way. So it's a nice size yard. I mean, it's a big yard. Okay. Let's check out the AC unit real quick. Dead frog. The AC unit looks pretty new, actually. Um... Not like new, new, but it looks in really good shape. Okay. Spot at the back of the house. We got a little fire pit. All right, so you're outside the city limits, so that's allowed. You, know, you don't have city taxes, which is great. All right. Um, I mean, two-story house. I mean, I can't really see the roof a whole really, really well, but it really doesn't look that bad. Um, we'll see if a uh, home inspector will notice anything from it. If so, then we can ask for a uh, roof inspection. Um, but like I said, I'm not, I don't really know a whole lot about um, how, telling how old a roof is from looking at it. So. Um, okay, anyway, so that is 319 Topaz Drive here in Sterling Farms in Jacksonville. Um, I like the house. Um, it looks like it's really, really good. I don't see any problems besides what we found in the garage. Um, but it is a really nice home, okay? Uh, three bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms. It's priced at 187.9, okay? Um, I'll talk to you guys soon. Thank you.